Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Let's look at latest ROM KT Pro OIS Edition 10.3.11 running on Xiaomi Poco F1. In this video, we will be discussing about all day-to-day -day possibility of this ROM as well as the gaming. So, if you are new here, sub to the channel would be really appreciated. Since this is the port of OnePlus 6 Oxygen OS, features are going to be the same. So I'll be only testing out day-to-day -day usability features of this ROM. To start with, let's quickly get into about font session. As you see, the ROM is Oxygen OS 10.3.11 and it is based upon Android 10. The security patch is from 1st May 2021 which is pretty latest comparing with other OOS build. The kernel coupled with is D8G 2.8 which is a great performance based kernel. Out of the box the ROM does pass us safety net. Also the device is Google Play Protect certified. When it comes to security, the ROM does has all the features like face unlock, fingerprint and more. The fingerprint works pretty faster here as well as the face unlock. But keep in mind that the ROM does not have IR face unlock. Out of the box, the ROM is not encrypted. The QS panel here does not have any mind blowing number of tiles. Yes, there is screen recorder present and it is capable of recording internal audio and microphone at a time. The Zen mode works pretty well. I did try enabling it. Phone was totally locked till mentioned time. I did try a few things to break it up but nothing helped. The reason menu animation is pretty neat and smoother. Only clear all option present as an option here. Let's talk about benchmark scores now. The under 2 scores 388000 plus and Geekbench scores for single core 524 and multi core 2325 which is pretty great scores for Poco F1. The ROM does includes Gcam open project camera go as inbuilt which works pretty great. The ROM does support fast charging and offline charging and mention is present. To know more about the performance, I did perform a CPU throttling test which was 30 minutes longer. The ROM was able to keep the performance above 80 easily. Yes, the ROM does heats up a bit but not something out of handle. From the start to when the testing finished, the ROM was able to keep up the CPU speed above 2 GHz, which is pretty good. After this test, I was pretty much sure about gaming capability of this ROM. But still, I did try it one time. From the beginning, the game was running pretty smoother and the performance was at the top. I didn't face any lags or jitters normally. But there was some issues I was facing all around the game. First, I was facing some ADS problems while scoping, which was pretty annoying while scoping and firing. It was becoming really difficult to connect the bullet. Second, the game did reboot multiple times during game. Another annoying thing, if you are middle of a fight or out of zone, this gameplay I did died with same reason. I did try reinstalling game, restarting phone, clearing data as a solution, but nothing paid off. The game was keep on restarting. I remember the same issue from one of the old OOF gang's Oxygen OS build. Anyways, to conclude, I admit that the ROM is a performance beast, but still this kind of annoying bugs make this build not usable as daily driver. Leaving these issues behind, the ROM is really smooth and stable. 
easily it can give above 7 hours screen on time with moderate gaming if you are planning to use this rom link is there in the description keep on watching the gaming to understand the issues what i was facing so nothing more nothing less hope this video was helpful to you like and shares are always appreciated till next time be safe and take care Enemies ahead! Enemies ahead! Watch out! Fall back to safe zone. Fall back to safe zone.
I'm out. Need ammo. Let's go! Enemies ahead!
Mark the vehicle. 